Hello and welcome to this video looking at the Turnitin Originality Report. Turnitin is a specialised search engine and data matching tool that is used by many schools and universities to detect plagiarism or copying by matching blocks of text to previously published materials. Plagiarism is a serious offence and is treated by the University of Portsmouth as such. However, it is part of the staff's responsibility to educate students in good practices. Turnitin can help with this and indeed its primary use in the university is to help you develop good practice in correctly using citations, quotations and references. In order to take full advantage of Turnitin you need to understand what the originality report is telling you and what the similarity index indicates. Once you have logged into Moodle go to the unit where you submitted the assignment and go to the Dropbox where you handed the work in. Once inside, it will be broken down into the parts you need to submit and you will be able to click on the similarity score. Once you have clicked the percentage, it will load up the Turnitin document viewer. You will see in the right hand menu a blue section and a red section. The number in the red section is your originality score, in this case it is 34%. This is the amount of your work that overlaps with other work that has been submitted to Turnitin or created and can be found online. It is broken down into coloured chunks and this shows you where the work overlaps with other content. You can also see this in the match overview on the right hand side of the Feedback Studio interface. So the top match is at 6% and there are a few at 1 or 2%. And if I scroll through the document you can see there are different sections highlighted in multiple colours showing me where they are. Some work may be quoted and given a citation. If you click the filter button you can choose to exclude quoted materials as well as the bibliography or references section. By clicking on exclude the bibliography it will exclude anything under the referencing title in the document. This has now dropped the percentage down to 32%. You can also see there are smaller matches of around 1 and 2%. Some may be getting to 3 and 4% and these can also occur because of common terms and phrases that are used within the subject you are writing about. By excluding maybe 3 or 4% matches it will help to reduce your similarity score and to do that click on the filter section. Choose the percentage you wish to exclude by typing in that figure and when you have done this remember to click apply changes at the bottom and then it should exclude those 1 and 2% and possibly 3 and 4% matches. An academic will also be able to change his percentage to fit their criteria of plagiarism. You can still see there are matches and this could be because of common terms that are being picked up. If you click on the arrow, you can see the whole section of work and where it is being taken from. You can see there is an issue here that the work is matching other work, maybe slightly more than it should be. If you click on the full source view, you will see the full source text window open on the right hand side, showing you where all the areas that you're getting the matches are from. Again, you can see where the match is coming from and if it looks like this paragraph has been copied and pasted in from an external source, it is not good academic practice. You may want to revisit this and change it into your own words. Bearing in mind you should not use quotation marks or citations around large chunks of text as all you are then doing is presenting other people's work as your own, which again is not good academic practice. You would need to take the paragraph out using only a few quotations and citations and rewriting it in your own words. Looking at the All Sources tab, you are able to see where a match has been broken down and how much is copied from multiple sources. This will help you work out where it has been taken from and how often it has been used. Looking at the other large percentage overlaps, they look like they have been directly copied from the internet and possibly other sources. Again, clicking on the arrow, you are able to see where all of these materials have come from. It is a very long paragraph that has been copied and pasted exactly, which you would then need to remove rewrite and use appropriate quotations and citations and of course add in the correct references at the end of your work. By removing the two larger text sections that have been copied the percentage would be a much lower and much more acceptable score. A point of note however is that it would not be acceptable to put a large chunk of text in quotation marks and just give it a reference. This is taking the work of others and not putting in much of your own work. This could result in you be giving a much lower mark by the member of staff who is grading your work. Another point to note is there is no set figure in the university regulations that constitutes plagiarism. The regulations simply state a substantial amount and the interpretation of this would be given by the member of staff setting and then marking the work. If you have any doubt you would need to check that with the member of staff. 
You also do not need to get a score of 0% to avoid being accused of plagiarism. You will have small fragments and phrases that will always overlap, for instance, when using common terminology. If you're ever unsure, please do again check with the member of staff who is setting the work. Thank you very much for watching this particular video.